The most effective tests to determine brain death are cerebral blood flow studies. So let's go through all the brain death criteria because this gets tested a lot on step two and step three. So for the criteria, you want to have a known cause of coma and exclusion of reversible factors, neurologic exam that tests for brainstem reflexes and central response to pain, and then an apnea test, which assesses whether the brain can drive respiratory function in response to increased CO2 retention. An important thing to note, the last step prior to diagnosing brain death is always apnea testing or having an isoelectric EEG or imaging that shows no intracranial blood flow. If none of these has been done, you cannot say that the patient is brain dead on the USMLE. So make sure you either end with an apnea test, an EEG, or a CT or MRI of the head to show that the patient has no intracranial blood flow 